Welcome, folks, one and all, to Let's Play Squidlet, released in 2018 for the PC. Developed and published by Squidlet Inc., this is a platformer designed to be as accurate a representation as possible of the Nintendo Game Boy, right down to the limited sound channels, that weird shade of green, and the native resolution of 160 by 144 pixels. I'm not playing the game at that resolution, though at one point that was the only option. I'm glad I'm playing it in a slightly bigger screen, just slightly. But even in the tiny screen, it still would have been perfectly playable, and in fact it would have even better exuded that Game Boy nostalgic feel that I'm getting right now looking at this screen. This is a game I've never played before, and it feels so familiar. Which means that this game is already succeeding at what it sets out to do. As for the game itself, I have no idea what it's like beyond the very, very beginning, because I've never played this before. It's a squiddy mystery that we're going to be unlocking together. As for the controls, they're on the screen right here. You have to look a little bit down. A and D make you move left and right, and my, is that an adorable move animation. It's not as adorable as this, however. Look at that right there. That is the most adorable thing you've ever seen. Look at it! As for jumping, you have to press space. And if you press space twice, you will launch your offensive move, firing ink out of your bum. To start the game, you have to do that at this start icon. Let's go and get our plot dump. The plot dump is right here to the left. We have to press up to initiate it. Hi, Blip. I'm the village squizzard. Since my squizzardy magic protects Blipston, I cannot go on adventures. So I have a quest for you. That castle yonder is super spoopy. The last squidlet we sent as a scout has not returned. You have been chosen to go next. Good luck, squip ever forwards. We don't get a say in the matter, but then again, if we decided not to, there wouldn't be a game. So let's bravely squip forwards and go to the spoopy castle, jumping over these things here and this building, because we can't move past the buildings we have to jump past them. And those flowers are so happy. Just as happy as this person here who's wearing a very spiffy hat. I live in the biggest house. That makes me mayor. What a strange society these people live in. Let's jump over your massive house and go and talk to somebody else. Like you. What do you mean, why is everything in ugly shades of green? You're weird, Blip. It seems like we're the only one that can perceive that we're in a video game. That's okay, that means we know the mechanics. Let's go find somebody else to talk to. Like this person here, wearing a chef's hat. Makes me wonder what's in there. Hiya, Plip. I baked the muffins for your quest. Nosh one when you get hurt to feel better. Here you go, have three. Oh, I almost forgot. Now you'll find lots of muffins everywhere. Good luck doing the quest. Did you fire loads of muffins, not only across the countryside, but into the super spoopy castle? Why can't you fire me into the super spoopy castle? Ah, I know why. There wouldn't be much of a game otherwise. Hello you, how are you? I live in this hole. Well, that was informative. Let's leave you to it, shall we? And go find somebody else. There is a hole down here. And you! Doot doot doot! Grow with mushrooms! Doot doot doot! Um, oh, hi! Mushrooms are super numbers. I dry them for sailing rations. Good to know! Let's go up here and see if there's someone here. And there is! You're also wearing a spiffy hat! Why do I get the feeling that most people can uh, tell each other apart from their spiffy hats? I'm so very squishy. It's wonderful to be an invertebrate. It certainly has its advantages. Can we jump on these trees? We can jump on the trees. Hello. My mother says not to climb trees. I'm a rebel. Good to know. Let's leave you to it. Ooh, there's someone down there that I want to go and talk to. I get the feeling there won't be many people for me to talk to in the rest of my adventure, so let's have a conversation with you. I've got a mushroom on me head. That's good to know. 
Do we leave this way? We can leave this way, but there are people over here that we want to talk to first, and they look like they're having a fun time. Don den dun den don den dun den don den dun den dum bum bum bum. I think he's playing the background music. I think they're all playing the background music. <laughs> Good to know! Okay, after that thrilling dialogue, let's speak to this person who looks like a knight. It's dangerous to venture outside of the Squizzard's protection. Did you get your muffins from the baker? I've heard they work like your HP. I don't know what that means, though, because I'm just a Squidlet. We know what that means, though! Do we leave by pressing up? We leave by pressing up. The music has changed. We are in the first level, and there is a very heroic looking person in front of us here. I be Squirt, the mightiest of Squidlets. The road ahead of ye be long, and there be Ooblogs out and about. Ever met one? All you gotta do is jump over and ink on them. What's that? Why don't I go to the spooky castle? Who else will drive Ooblug's spell slingering pests away from good old Blipston? Any hoodles, off with ye! And off we go on our adventure! And there is a dangerous foe! And we fired ink from our bum and defeated that foe. I get the feeling this is going to be a very whimsical and silly game, and I'm going to love it. Look at how dangerous that foe is! Now the difficulty comes from. Oop, the difficulty comes from firing and jumping with the uh, same button. That's gonna take a bit of practice, but I'm sure this first level will allow me to practice. There we go! I better get better at this. We only have so many muffins worth of health. To be fair, there's a muffin right there. But when we find, yep, when we find two enemies, this might get tricky. Not too tricky. Also, we get a little bit of air when we fire. This is probably going to be important. This is an aerial foe. We must be careful. To be fair, we must be careful when uh, facing all enemies. There are two foes down there. Do we wish to face them? No! We shall exercise- well, never mind, I was about to say we shall exercise caution, but uh, instead we exercise super caution by avoiding all of them. And this is when I missed a super good ending by doing that, and I took a bit of damage. Fortunately, there's a muffin right here. I hope these muffins don't go stale. That would be awkward. Now, that enemy that was there didn't reappear. Flew away, and was never seen again. And Blip here is very happy about that. Now, we can go this way, into the dark, spoopy cave. Probably not as spoopy as the castle, but it's minorly spoopy. Ooh, can we talk to you? Oh no, we cannot talk to you! You're going to, uh... Ooh, you got quite angry. I think it's probably a good idea to leave you be. So we have to avoid you if we ink you. Probably a good idea not to ink you. We're learning things already. Now, we'll just go over here, jump over here, and there is a foe! And I think we're on to the next level! Or it's part of the same level, because the music hasn't changed. I don't want to fight to you, there is no need. Avoid enemies when you can, Plip! It'll save your ink resources. I think we might have made it to the castle. Oh, oh! Careful! Careful! Let's just jump over you and then... Fire some ink at you. That'll show you for attacking, Plip! Let's move- Oh! You're going to drop things on us, are you? They are going to launch some kind of lightning effect. Right, good to know. We can't go up, so we're going to have to go down. Now you're going to fire magic at us, and I need to avoid that. There we go! Marvelous. They can't move past the muffins. I'm going to presume that there's something up here that I want. There's an NPC! I live outside the Squizzard's protection to prove that I am hardcore! Congratulations! You are the most hardcore squ- Oh, look at that! If you do that, they respond! That is amazing! You 
learn something new about the game every screen. I learned that this game is super adorable. To be fair, that was a given. Let's keep moving, shall we? Can I jump on that? I can! But what's up here that makes going up here worth it? The answer is more trees, and likely a way to avoid peril. I like avoiding peril! Oh, hello! How are you? I tell my daughter not to climb trees. And yet you're doing it. You rebel, you! Stop being so rebellious! Now, if we jump over to here, I get the feeling we're going to be in some bother, so let's instead go back to ground level. There could be bottomless pits in this game. Not yet, but there could be. Oh, careful! Now, we could go down into this cave, and I'm going to go down into this cave. This is going to fall on my head, isn't it? Yep, that's going to try and fall on my head. Hello, Grub! Get inked! There's a muffin there. We could go and grab that, but we don't need to. Instead, we shall head this way. And up? Up brings us to here, but I feel like still going through here. Aha! We have found you! I'm adventuring to Blipston! I done diddy heard they done have no squirchant. That's a squidlet merchant! Fair enough! You go and merchant over there! We're heading right! To the spooky castle! Are you... a friend or an enemy? Egads! Don't ink on me! It takes days to wash off! Why are you here? Hmm. Explains, explains, explains. You say you're going to a castle? That's a long way away! Tell you what, my farm has been overrun by... Sharkapillars and Unsdales. They hate Squidlet Ink, so if you could drive them all off, I'll give you the old hovercraft I used to use to get stuff from town. That seems like a good deal. We have 17 foes to defeat, it would seem, and now we have 16. This is quite a successful farm by the looks of it. Oh, that is... That is a shark and a caterpillar combined. That looks very silly, and it dies to a single bit of ink. And I accidentally didn't jump well enough. That was silly, but I managed to recover. Okay, that is the silliest enemy I've encountered yet. I don't think it's a very efficient predator, but then again, the person who owns this farm couldn't get rid of it. And it doesn't hurt you when it's dying. Good to know. Here with you, and you, and you! I've got the hang of this jumping malark. To be fair, i played many games where you jump. Ooh, more muffins. Don't need them right now, though. I'm gonna presume that there are a few enemies up in the trees. Yep, there's you. Hello, you. You have been defeated! Marvelous. These are cocoons for the, uh, sharkapillars. And there is a sharkapillar! That really does look like a painful way to move, and now you're gone. And there's one foe over here. And now there's only one foe, period. Where is this last foe? I bet you're up this tree. Yep, you're up the tree. Come face me! And perish! We've done everything, so let's move forward. Hello? Hooray! Thank you so very much! The hovercraft is yours! Don't worry about the shark pillar cocoons. The adults breathe fire and spit acid, so I'll clear them before they emerge. Have fun! That looks like a really small hovercraft, but I'm sure it works just fine. And up we go! Ah! Remember when you said about the, uh, ones, uh, breathing fire and spitting acid? Yep! This is one of them! So we need to deal with you, and this is definitely an homage to the original Super Mario Land. I think we need to hit this in the head, and then defeat it. With enough shots of our ink. Oh, there's some of that. Uh-oh, we took a hit. And I think that was only half a muffin's worth of damage. I haven't been uh, keeping track, but I think we actually have six hits. And if we hold down the uh, spacebar, we actually uh, constantly fire. And we're done! Off to the spoopy castle we go! Oh dear. We're not very good at flying that thing, are we? No, we're not. 
Oh, Pleb, you so silly. Hello, you. Halt! No squidlets allowed in Squid Squoot, God Emperor's Castle. Ink you, I pay taxes. Or, but, but I'm a squidlet. Ugh, stop making sense. Well, we confused him. Let's move in and try and be very, oh, and try not to get hit by everything. Let's be careful because the game is going to get more tricky now. Like with you, who I can't jump over properly. Already I've taken damage. We could go back and uh, get some health. I'm sure there'll be uh, health further in. Fortunately, we can ink ghosts. That's quite handy. Oh, careful. Need to be very careful. Because we don't know where the threats may come from. And also, we don't know how to avoid damage, it would seem. Much better. We need to find a muffin. Or two. There's one. Let's get that one. Ah, you don't actually deal damage to us when you're covered in ink. Fair enough. I will keep that in mind and move forward. And be very careful about doing so. Ha <laughs> ha! Remember when I couldn't jump properly before and avoid enemies? Seems like I'm getting better at it. Famous last words, I'm not going to be getting better at it. Let's be very careful. Oh! Oh, I can't actually fire ink at you because you're wearing a hat. Gee, I hope a squidlet doesn't filch my selkie while I'm asleep. We should spray for them more often. I want that. Thank you very much. Now, should I release you? Aha! You'll never take me alive! Well, you drop muffins, so... That's fine by me! What about over here? Ah! Oh! You appear to be friendly! Oh, thank goodness! I promise to never forget to say God Emperor after Squid Squoot! God Emperor's name again! What about you? Thank you for releasing me! I saw Emperor Squid Squad brewing a dark magic potion! But I was discovered, and she locked me in here! Please! You must help me stop her! I swiped a key from a guard, but it wasn't the one to my cell. Maybe it will open the gate over there. Oh, that it will, I imagine. Do I have to, uh... Yes, I have to press up. And onwards we go. You're dangerous. I'm just going to avoid you. And then ink you. And oh, carry on going this way. So, we know that the evil emperor is brewing a potion. And we don't want that to happen. Let's jump over you. I'm not sure if, uh... Can we, uh... There we go. We can jump there like that. You are dangerous. There's no way for me to, uh... Get you like that. Maybe I just have to avoid you. Either way, in we go to the next room. Ah, hello again. We need to go to the Royal Library in Castletown. There's a magic book there that contains most knowledge in Squid Squid's empire. We need it if we want to stop her. I'll meet you there. Fair enough. I have to get past all the ghosts and enemies, though, don't I? Yes, I do. You're going to jump, that's fine. But I'm going to go this way and avoid you. And you can actually keep firing ink. That is good to know. Ah, you're going to attack me, though. That's fine, I can deal with you. This castle is indeed rather spoopy, and I accidentally got hit. This is probably going to be bad if there is a boss nearby. But I appear to be in a nice garden. This garden, of course, isn't going to last. There's something up here, though. Nope, never mind, there's nothing but disappointment. That's fine, though. I can deal with disappointment. Or can I? Over here is another ghost. And another ghost. And another ghost. Another ghost? No, oh, there's a wizard, though. And a shattered... Oh, oh that was uh, bad. But these muffins do, in fact, heal a whole um, muffin's worth of health. Good to learn. We're going to go this way. And note that that's there, but we're not going that way. We're going this way instead. Assemble the gods! Awaken the ancestral golem! 
We have orders from the God Emperor. No one Squidlet passes. Well, that's unfortunate, isn't it? And when we come back, folks, we might have to deal with that golem. I don't want to have to deal with that golem. But I doubt I have much of a choice. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later. Do you think they've seen us? They've probably seen how adorable we are! Ha <laughs> ha! Later.